Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi and Davis Wade Stadium for the 2024 Maroon and White game, part of Super Bulldog Weekend. So the format today is offense versus defense. Lots of ways the offense can get points. Yes, you may need to take notes. You may even need a spreadsheet if you're going to try to keep up with the score. We'll do our best to keep up with the score for the form. On the ground to start things off. Gain of five yards on first down for Kevon Lee, Ty Cooper. Over 5,500 yards in three seasons at Baylor. And a quick pass to the outside and a good tackle in the open field. Sedu Treori, a transfer who was off the line here. Treori started out at Arkansas State, transferred to Colorado, was there for a spring, then came to Mississippi State. Shapen's pass falls incomplete. It's between Jeff Levy and Coleman Hutzler. Play action. And the pass incomplete. Find a freshman that played, and we'll label him as all. On the ground, this is Jeffrey Pittman. Good run on second down. We'll bring up third and short. Carson from the gun, and they stay on the ground. Pittman gets to the outside. He takes the ball across midfield and is shoved out of bounds across the 45-yard line. Down the reach box, getting their head across. This is the fast offense, right back to it. Taking a shot down the field toward the end zone. Incomplete. That was intended for Mario Craver, one of the freshmen that they... See the score, the defense got five points for forcing the offense to punt, but because they didn't turn it over and they did punt it, the offense got two points on that opening drive. Gain of three. Practice this. I think a lot of people believe that the in-helmet communication is just going to be easy. And it's, oh, you just throw them in there and you just talk to the guys. It, it, that's going to take reps. That's going to take practice. That's going to take understanding. It's going to cut off at 15 seconds on the play clock. So the under. Johnny Daniels into the game at running back. Parson flushed, scrambling, and he throws on the run incomplete. Maybe a little bit behind the receiver. Chris Parson like what he has added on the defensive side up front through spring practice. Shaping in the offense back out on the field. Shaping with time, dumps it over the middle, and that ball is caught by Sedu Treori. That you want, uh, a guy that's a little bit even more than willing. You'll see him, he's inserted on that last play. Here's another shot. Woo! That one is caught. That is a big play for the offense. On the reception, Kevin Coleman. The transfer from Louisville, originally from St. Louis, actually started his college career at Jackson State. Ends up being nice protection for the tight end, Treori. Option routes are what Kevin Coleman is going to flourish inside this offense, and you see a big play there. Gain of 50 on that play for the first team offense. Go back to what we said early in the broadcast, Rich. If you're trying to get an in-depth look at the running game today, you may be disappointed. This ball <laughs> batted into the air and incomplete. It's pretty basic from a... Four receivers in the set. That's Traore in motion, and it's a handoff straight ahead, stacked up after a gain of a couple. Zakari Tillman, that weak side linebacker, coming up and making the tackle. Two, need to take the ball across the 12-yard line. Shapin looking to go to the air. Dumps it over the middle. That's a completion to Coleman and the ball comes out just short of the end zone turnover created on what looked like it was about to be a touchdown defense punched it out and they keep the white offense the white team offense out of the end zone right Darius Jones with the fumble recovery defense looked good so far the really on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense timeout Punched out by Woodard and recovered by the defense. Woodard, the junior from Memphis, previously at East Mississippi Community College. So Chris Parson and the second team offense back out on the field. That's complete to Pittman out of the backfield. Defensive starters from a year ago. That's just a lot of what college football has become, Richard. As you see, Nick Mitchell, 40 big thumper of a linebacker in the backfield making a play there four man front Arson time in the pocket collapses around him and now he lofts it down the field and they're going to blow it dead 
Say that the defense got a hand on him, and that will be a sack, and that will be more points. Almost every play. I know you're not adding a lot of quarterback run, so it doesn't hold the backside as much, but this is a good run look right here. Not sure how much changing the play at the line Blake Shapin is doing. Incomplete as flags come in. Trying to get it to Kevin Coleman again. Schemes don't use as many motions and as much movement as he does. We're seeing some of that here today. And a nice reverse if they get to the outside. Mario Craver on the end around. Add that, it just becomes that much more dangerous. See, yeah, look at the splits of these receivers here from the top of your screen all the way to the bottom. Another shot play. This went down the field and it is caught. Touchdown. This time on the reception, the transfer, Kelly Akari in from UTEP. 40 yards on the pitch and catch. He was a big play guy a season ago. Had eight touchdowns last year receiving at UTEP. He's a thicker wide receiver that can attack the football, but don't mistake that he can't run past you. You get the one-on-one -on -one coverage, you just throw the fade. And it's excellent concentration by Kelly Akari. Kamari Rogers looked like he had an opportunity to make a playoff. Banjo Gritty. Okay. Two completions already for Blake Shapin of more than 40 yards. Cole, if you're going to do something well, you've got to practice it a lot. And lots of teams talk about playing with tempo. When you're a backside receiver, how to go to your landmark to line up for the next play, which official to give the football to. The center has to understand to go to the line judge of where the ball is going to be spotted and not to the official that has the football. In his Back on the ground to Pittman. He takes it across midfield and is wrestled down at the 45. So he gained 10 yards there on the carry. As Stone Blanton, the South Carolina, nearly 250 tackles a season ago. I'm going to be honest with you, Richard. A ton is probably an understatement for those two. 711 career tackles between those two. And what they did the last two and a half, three seasons, physicality, they will be missed. This time it's Coleman on the reception. The previous play was Mario Craver. Offense starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm. Braylon Burnside, stuck. He wants to vary it a little bit. Parson dumps it out of the backfield to Pittman. Nice move in the open field, and he bowls his way down to the 15-yard line. No one that will usually do that. A bit of a collision in the backfield. Somehow got it out, dumped it out to Justin Bowl. Justin Ball, one of the tight ends, a senior from Glendale, Maryland. Vanderbilt transfer. That's a 15-yard touchdown pass. Utilized, we mentioned the insert, so watch Ball right side of your screen. Climbing up to the linebacker, whoop, right up underneath. Just float it. Let your 6'6 target go get it. Take it into the end zone. So much of this offense is married together with blocking schemes and changing blocking schemes and then finding those guys on routes. Nick Barmira there to kick the extra point. In the words of Jeff Levy, kick it through the upright and don't punt. Drive, he was 4 of 4 for 45 yards and a touchdown and made some good decisions. Didn't try to force things. I, I think that's the key, and Jeff Levy will tell you that. Don't take things that aren't there. Don't try to force things that aren't there. Now, are those shot plays going to be high percentage plays? Probably. 22-yard gain on a pass play to Kevon Lee out of the backfield. This time it's Lee on the ground, and he was trying to string it out, but nowhere to go. Once again, though, for Blake Shapin, you get a... Mississippi State this coming year will open its season at home against Eastern Kentucky. And then they will head west to take on Arizona State in Tempe in week two before jumping into SEC play. A couple at the bottom of your screen is outside the numbers. That's Akari that went in motion. And now they dump it off to the tight end, Sedu Traore. Good enough for a first down. Heaged, and there is a big play opportunity with Traore. To the air, and it's bobbled and then hauled in. What a catch by Kelly Akari. Draft coming up next week. I tell you, Richard, you see Xavion Thomas's name, and you see this offense as we get a rushing touchdown into the end zone by Elijah Cannon. Kevon Lee, Kevon I think. Lee. Pardon me. 
Montez Sweat was a first rounder, went to the Washington football team. Jeff Simmons in 2019, 19th pick overall with the top. There's no doubt, Richard. Fletcher, Clock, uh, Fletcher Cox, Chris Jones, Jeff Simmons just signed a big deal. Ooh, defense coming up with a sack. Two sacks now for the defense. Carson hands it off. Short gain on second down. Going to bring up third. Third and 14. Carson trying to make it happen. Now with his feet. And he is touched down at the 35-yard line. Five yards short after a gain of nine. So being able to move around, play different spots, going to be key for this season. On the ground and a big run. That's Johnny Daniels, one of those Juco guys we were talking about out of the pocket. Offense gets back to the line quickly, and it's back to Daniels on the ground. He goes across midfield, shifts his weight, and gets down close to the 40-yard line. Oh, still on his feet. Didn't get him to the ground. Really nice spring, according to Cody Kennedy. Pounders the transfer from Memphis. That was not a piece that the Memphis Tigers were happy to lose. Guy that's played a lot of football, has played it well. Pounders coming in from... Memphis, Marlon Martinez coming in from LSU, Ethan Miner from North Texas. Yeah, I think we just saw the left side of that line. Barry, 50 yards. Offense in the red zone. Shapen to the air, and it's incomplete contact, and a flag comes in. Trying to get it to Kevin Coleman. A little handsy too early there. Pittman in the game at the running back spot. He hands it off and powers his way into the end zone for a touchdown for the first team offense. At 54 carries for 268 yards and a touchdown last season. They are three for three today in their trips inside the 20. And our first look at Michael Van Buren in at quarterback, the freshman early enrollee from Bowie, Maryland. Got the ball out. Uh, Brandon Jennings didn't think so. He wanted that to be a sack. Back on the ground and a good carry on first down. See the 57th ranked player in the country among freshmen coming in. Keep it on the ground. This is Brinston Williams getting the carry. Sophomore. It's making quick calls. You could probably adapt to it a little bit faster than most. Well, bullet out the to the far yeah. sideline and Burnside with another catch. You can let it rip. Big chunks of yards in it. Certainly one of the reasons that Mississippi State fans are excited. This is a different type of offense than what comes with that, and it's just not the case. It's not true. Uh, they, that wasn't an offense that operated a very fast manner. This tempo is very different. Van Buren to the air again. That one was intended for Jaden Wally. 49 yards. That was against Southeastern Louisiana. This one is from 50. The left-footed kicker. Hooks it right. So no points there for the, the offensive players on one team, defensive players on the other team, not running a whole lot. Defense can get points for stops, different things. Here we got a potential explosive play. Nope. Broke it up. Who there has the, the advantage uh, here, Emmanuel? I would opinion? probably say you just got to go out there and prepare and mentally prepare right every weekend. Offense, there's a completion. That's to one of the tight ends. Say. And then take us through also the splits of the receivers. When they line up as wide as some of these do, mm -hmm. what are the difficulties that come with that? Oh, you know, they could probably run a lot of different routes from that wide split. You know, they can run it. Do you have a favorite moment in this stadium that sticks out? Oh, uh, I'll probably say I got a couple. But my probably my favorite versus Texas a and my junior year when I caught the pick six. Outs mm -hmm. based on down and distance and where you were on the field. Can you just kind of mentally walk us through that process and then you line up to the line of scrimmage and whatever the, the routes that are left that you think you might see mm -hmm. how does that actually happen 
receivers. How difficult is it going to be for these guys to step on the field as true freshmen and be impact players? Honestly, I just I, my advice for them is just be they self and just go out there. Don't try to do too much and just stay focused on the on the great moments in his rookie season in the NFL. On the ground, pretty good cut back there. This is Kevon Lee. Man, kind of back and forth there. McKaylin Pounders at left tackle. A nice reach block initially to open that play up to the. Transfers in from Memphis. Highly recruited out of high school. Had some SEC options. Ended up going to Memphis. The shot toward the end zone. And that ball is caught for a touchdown for Kevin Coleman. We've talked a lot about Kevin Coleman today. Transfer from Louisville has been part of this passing game. That's a 16-yard transfer portal. He very quickly became a target for this new staff at Mississippi State and a piece that they're going to rely heavily on. Absolutely. He's got big size, big physicality. Jackson State in 2022. Transferred to Louisville. Had 11 starts last season with 26 catches for 362 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Team offense early. Last couple of drives have belonged to Michael Van Buren. Van Buren has it come out, gets it back, and it'll be blown dead. It's the right. Girls lined up all the way down at the numbers when the ball spotted at the opposite hash. Van Buren using that athleticism to get outside, going to keep it himself, and he'll go out of bounds right at the 35-yard line. Deion Sanders led Jackson State Tigers team. <laughs> Defense forced a punt on that last drive, so they got five points. Shape and touchdown right at the yard to gain. So that's going to be a first down for this. First. Over three years at Baylor, he averaged about a yard and a half a carry. Deep shot down the field. That ball is caught. Big play for the offense and Jordan Mosley. Like the touch on the deep ball that we've seen from Shapen? Absolutely. Throw that where your receiver can make the adjustment inside to go attack that football, but also great awareness knowing what coverage the safeties are in that you didn't have one over the top. That Gabriel last year at, uh, at Oklahoma. And Gabriel was one that they didn't want to run a whole lot last year. You had Jackson Arnold, but didn't know if he was ready to quite take over yet. So it, you're, you're going to protect your quarterback. You don't want to run a guy if you don't have somebody behind them. That can, they have somebody that can steer the ship for two series, two games, two weeks, whatever it is, if he were to go down. Shapin gets it out to his tight end, Justin Ball, who waltzes into the end zone. That's his second touchdown catch. This one from 14 yards out. Pistol formation, Shapin kind of sixes out there, and ball's just wide open. Busted coverage out on the perimeter. Coleman Holtz are not going to be happy about that. An absolute monster hat tip because every time I come here, the grass is immaculate. I literally just want to lay down and roll around in it. Regardless of what the clock said, that is going to take us into the locker room. To be able to check him every now and then that he trusts and will take that consideration when that advice is given. Jeff Levy's dad was a high school football coach. I asked him, like, so what were you, about four or five when you, you first were at the field? He's like, water boy, ball boy, absolutely loved it. And he was... Props for the center from Cole Kublik. Never would have seen that coming. You're going to get it. Nice catch and a little move after the fact by Mario Craver. He's one. <laughs> Chris Parson taking a shot down the field. He's got a man. That's a catch. That's a touchdown for the offense. 65 yards for Mario Craver. Just come out of the locker room and light the scoreboard up. And gives Mario Craver an opportunity. There you see, pull that ball. Linebackers are frozen. Keep your safety at bay. Take the one-on-one. -on -one. Craver's got the speed to be able to stack that DB and get into the end zone. He flashed close to 22 miles an hour in spring. Multiple big plays. Plays. When that number is 70-plus, you have gotten the ball down the field, and that's what this offense is designed to do. Van Buren in the game. And off that time, and a nice run for Duncan. Now getting a big block downfield. Cold Spring Portal is open right now, and obviously 
Teams all over the country are looking to add pieces to their roster. When, when you look at this Mississippi, but a guy that you could lean on, that has experience, that can have a good understanding of the offense, could be valuable. Another offensive lineman to potentially add depth, I don't think that's a huge need, but I think you're always looking for a guy that can play and have some versatility. That they've got out there. They've got some pieces. I think most college football teams have concerns about depth, especially in the era that we're in in college football. And Mississippi State certainly no exception. He knows the expectation at practice every day, and all of a sudden that guy's gone. So, yeah, we might get a new player who's talented, but he has to learn everything about our scheme, everything about our community, everything about our building. So you have to start all of that over. There for Brinston Williams. At the running clock in the third quarter. So this third and fourth quarter is going to move a little faster. That ball is complete, and then a broken tackle out on the far sideline. That's Saydu Treori on the letters. Williams picks his way down to the 10 yard line. You mentioned Nick Saban just a second ago. You conference when that news came down. I just think it's very difficult, Richard, for anyone, anywhere to recruit at the level that Nick Saban did as consistently as he did. So the first thing that comes to mind is. And with him not standing on that sideline anymore, you wonder, is a little bit of that going to go away? The style of football is actually going to be a little bit different. I mean, there was a there was a method of bludgeoning that Nick Saban brought to those. For Nick Barmira. Just inside the right hash. He splits the uprights there, so points on the board for the offense. With now just two and a half minutes. Using how we actually score this thing, so no. I'd like to try to simplify it. Why Keith Johnson is into the game in the backfield, number 32, over the place. So Jeff Levy uh, in his first year as head coach. Why Jeff Levy? Yeah, well, I think, you know, Coach Levy somebody that uh, clearly from a schematic standpoint, he understands the game of football, and then also from a program builder, he's been around some great programs. Uh, they're really good things here. Offense back out on the field. and trying to make some things happen. Mike Wright in at quarterback. He's the Vanderbilt transfer. Had a couple of starts last year. Drives in Starkville. He has that kind of rock star welcome and then immediately has to go to work. They've only got about 12 days to put together a recruiting class as you see Buford on the run. And this as a head coach for a long time and I think it's the confidence that he's got. Uh, so he hit the ground running and clearly putting together a great staff has been really helpful. Big play there on the ground for the offense. Was, yeah, it, is, yeah. it is a bear. <laughs> All-encompassing. So, that is such, uh, <laughs> such is life in the SEC. Zach, always good to see you. Thanks for stopping yeah. by. Great to catch up. Good to see you, too. Thanks for being here. Hail State. Zach got DeMonte Russell on the field, and uh, he is a large man. So, DeMonte, first spring under a new coaching staff, new defensive coordinator, new head coach in Jeff Levy. How's it going so far? It's going six. <laughs> no, this is little bro, man. Every day is a competition between me and him. I told him, I said, hey, if we get it set together, I'm done. I'm there first. If we want to have a hail sack every game. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. So gone from kind of drinking out of a fire hose and trying to learn everything <laughs> to feeling like, okay, this stuff's starting to make sense. Man, it's, it took a lot. You know, coming in as a freshman, I feel like that's that's the hardest part. And then it's, each year it got better. This and Cole, that is a daunting schedule. All the weekends, though, are tough in the SEC. Mississippi State, though, yeah. go for this bunch. Asher Morgan is in the game at quarterback. He is a junior from Philadelphia, Mississippi, another one of the junior college pieces that has been added. It's not what we need to be talking about, Richard. It's not on the offensive line. And I asked Cody Kennedy. Uh, I got a confirmation on the weight before the game, and I got it at 325. But it was actually the conversation about his skill set that I had with Cody Kennedy after that saying, man, has, he doesn't look 6'10". That's the thing. Dan Skipper at Arkansas looked like he was 6'10". Because he just looked kind of disproportionate. I mean, Dylan doesn't, he doesn't look, when you stand next to him, yeah, he's 6'10". He towers 7 with the helmet on. But yes, it's easily 6'10". I know you said it doesn't matter, but... Uh... Asher Morgan's mom and dad probably thinks it ma it matters. And Vic Sutton Mr. in the Mrs. game. Morgan, I apologize. Offensive line looks physical. They got after this group up front. I feel pretty good about that. Tight end position, pretty good depth, and a couple of different type players at that position that you're going to be able to line up in different spots. I have my concerns about Wins this game, 67 to 53. Good day in Starkville as um, apparently came out of this game very healthy see any injury timeouts along the way and uh, 
the debut of Blake Shapin was a good one. We saw at the half, he was closing in on 300 yards. Very little, I don't think any action from Blake Shapin in.